As for the image stabilization, the A6500 incorporates 5-axis sensor shift, which will work intelligently with optically stabilized lenses for optimal compensation. At its best, which depends on the lens, the system is rated for 5 stops of compensation, just like many other mirrorless 5-axis systems. The touchscreen capability seems to be limited solely to autofocus, and Sony adds the touchpad capability first offered by Olympus. When looking through the viewfinder, you can use the LCD to control the focus point. The touchscreen seems intended primarily for rack focusing, sliding focus from one point to another in video, and the camera now includes the ability to set the autofocus drive speed and sensitivity. While the battery life still gives one pause, and it's not fully weather sealed like some competitors, the A6500 otherwise has all the right updates. The Fujifilm X-T2 is more expensive, especially since it requires an extra cost battery grip to achieve the same 11 frames per second burst, but it seems better for complex flash photography, a much higher sync speed at 1 slash 250 sec compared with the A6500's 1 slash 160 sec has a sensor without a blurring and de-aliasing filter, weather resistance and possibly a comparable autofocus system. The e M1 M2 doesn't have a price or availability date, but it sounds like it has a comparable autofocus system and an 18 fps continuous shooting speed and weather sealing as well. But it uses a smaller 4 thirds sensor, 